hey encourage me fam how are you guys doing i know you haven't seen this beautiful face in a while yes i am here um i have not forgotten about you guys so i'm back again with another book review series a long overdue book review series and i just pray that as i talk about this book i pray that your hearts will be blessed and I pray that, you know, um, you will get the encouragement to go on over to Amazon and get this book. So today's book that I will be featuring is called Facing the Storms of Life by Dr. Letitia McPherson. And in this book, it's very small as you can see, right? She wrote seven lessons in the life of the palm tree Christians. And one pointer that she mentioned in the first chapter is that um, as Christians, we must emulate the characteristics of a palm tree, right? We must ensure that we are deeply rooted and grounded in Christ in order for us to bear fruit. So stay tuned as, as I talk to you on how to emulate the characteristics of a palm tree as you are deeply grounded in Christ okay guys so here we are <laughs> facing the storms of life you know as christians we go through many different trials we go through many different turmoils and uh, a lot of times as christians we want to run out we want to get out of those storms we want to you know call it quits but today i want to encourage you as i share a chapter from this book uh to stay grounded in christ to be like the palm tree you know uh in california or florida or those tropical areas you know when the storm hit the coastal areas those palm trees they will toss and turn in the wind but one thing that i love about them is that they are not easily broken they don't get easily broken because their root is deeply grounded down into the hurt and so we must emulate that characteristics of a palm tree to know that though our lives may get tossed here and there we should stand firm we should hold fast to the profession of our faith without wavering for he is faithful and so as i continue on in this book i want you to pay keen attention to the words that i will be sharing amen all right so here is the table of content as you can see the first chapter talks about standing upright in the storm the second chapter talks about growing strong under pressure the third chapter talks about not easily uprooted the fourth chapter talks about not affected by storms and the fifth chapter talks about bend but will not break. The sixth chapter, cut but will not die. And the seventh chapter, getting fired up. So today, I will be reading chapter two for you. And it is growing strong under pressure. Here we go growing strong under pressure nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us romans 8 37 now when growing a young tree those of us who live in the west indies understand that when the tree is tender a band or wire must be placed around it to keep it upright most trees grow with the band or wire around the trunk for as long as the trunk grows. Oftentimes, the band actually stays in the trunk as the tree grows, but not so with the palm tree. The trunk of the palm tree does not allow the band or wire to dig into it. Instead, it breaks the band that is placed around it as it grows. Can I tell you something about our Christian walk? As a child, my mama told me that a rolling stone gathers no moss. In other words, if you are running from one church to the next, you won't gather anything and you won't hold anything. But you can claim victory if you sit under the word of God, if you sit under sound doctrine, 
Therefore, it is necessary that you sit under the word and not run from pillar to post. Listen to this quote. Today I stand without condemnation. I stand unashamed. I stand without guilt. Let us continue. Some Christians are weak and ineffective because they have become super religious and think that they have arrived. Hence, they are unwilling to sit on their sound doctrine. They are not willing to be constrained. Neither are they willing to be disciplined by the word. Oh, my God. Whew, that just hit me there. Let's continue. God has given you the power to break the bond of wickedness off your life. Let that sink in for a moment. God has given you the power to break the bands of wickedness off your life. I am talking about the palm tree. If you are going to grow and to be upright in the Lord, you must allow the word of God to stabilize you and keep you upright. The band around the palm tree does not break. This limpy means that as you are living the life of the palm tree Christian, you are more than a conqueror through Christ that loves you. Romans 8:37. You will not break under pressure. And when you make mistakes, you will acknowledge them. Pick yourself up, fix the situation, and keep standing. Folk may come against you, but as you grow and expand, all those things will break off of you. Things that your mama did to you are going to break off your life. Things that your daddy did are going to break off your life. I am who I am today because I had to break some things off my life that were done to me as a child. When I was a child, I was raped and beaten almost to the point of death. According to man's evaluation, I was supposed to grow up and become a prostitute, be messed up, and commit suicide. My God. Listen to this quote. Your life comes not from outward things, but from unseen, invisible things on the inside. Let's continue. That experience was designed to take me out and to stop the purpose and plan of God for my life. All of that was designed to stop me from realizing God's purpose for me. But I gave my life to the Lord. As I began to grow in Him, He gave me the boldness to talk about my experiences, forgive the offenders, and by doing so, I took back the power from the offender so that He could no longer hold me in bondage. Thus, I broke the band of guilt and shame. Today I stand without condemnation. I stand unashamed. I stand without guilt. I stand knowing that bad things happened to me as a child. Shameful things happened to me, but I am more than a conqueror today through Christ that loves me. My bad past experiences do not hold me. They do not bind me. The band of shame and guilt is broken. I am delivered and set free through God's grace and my faith in him. Therefore, just as the palm tree breaks every band around it, in like manner the child of God can claim and have the victory through Christ. God has given you the power to break the band of wickedness off your life. He has given you the power to break the band of bad experiences off your past. Psalms 2, 1 to 5 says, Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, the word. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Also, Romans 8, 37 says, In all these things we are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Hallelujah. And let's listen to Psalms 1, verse 3. And he shall be like a tree that planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Psalms 1 verse 
three. There you have it, guys. That's chapter two that I read from this powerful book, Facing the Storms of Life, by Dr. Letitia McPherson. In it, she wrote seven lessons in the life of the palm tree Christians. This book will teach you how to be deeply grounded in Christ. This book will teach you all that you need to know about loving Christ and accepting his promises uh, that he has laid upon your life. When you read the chapters, it helps you to go through trials. It helps you to go through tribulations. The word of God says some through the fire, some through the flood, you know, but when you trust the name of God and when you lift up his name and when you continue to allow him to mold you into whom you are supposed to be you see that all things will work together for your good so continue to stand firm if you know dr leticia mcpherson she called herself the miracle child ah my god she calls herself the miracle child she has been through so much and she has penned this beautiful book for you to learn how to go through the storms of life has a palm tree christians so god bless you thank you once again for tuning in uh to this book review series uh go on over to amazon i'll place the link in the description below so that you guys can get a copy of this book amen god bless you and see you again on a next book review series Thank you.